Well, a big hello from Margaret in Queensland in Australia. I hope you're all well today. Spring is here, a few clouds in the sky, but it's going to be a nice 27 degrees today. And let's talk about roses. So which rose will we talk about today? As you can see, I have a huge selection of roses growing in my garden. And I want to show you one perhaps today. Let's talk about yellow. Let's talk about this beautiful rose here. All these uh, roses in the garden that I've just showed you are David Austin roses. David Austin being um, an English breeder. Uh, he spent his whole life up until he passed away in his 90s living and breathing breeding roses he absolutely loved it it was his absolute true passion and when you look around these gardens you can see some of these roses I have they're just spectacular his are beautiful very old English roses but he was breeding them with other roses to bring them more in line with you know our disease resistant hybrid tea roses that we have that are quite common here in Australia so he bred the two of them together to come up with some of these most beautiful roses. This one here is called the Poet's Wife. Just look at the beautiful colour on here when the buds first come through. So these have just been out. These, the smaller ones here came out this morning. This one actually came out overnight. Look at that intense yellow colour. And this one down here has been out for a couple of days now. Now, the thing with David Austin roses is it takes them a while to fully open, like this one next to it here. See, this one's open. When they open, the bees can actually get right inside to all the goodness. But at the moment, this one here uh, will probably open fully tomorrow for the bees. But ah, isn't this absolutely delightful? As you can see, it's got a lot of buds on it. There's a lot of blooms on there. And this is a standard, so it's 90 centimetres from the ground on a stick. And you support them here. I've decided to start using what we call star pickets in Australia um, because we do put a lot of water in them here in the subtropics. And the sticks I had broke. So now they've got these pieces of um, steel here, star pickets. They're never breaking. Down in here, you'll see that... So that's its watering and feeding tube. So I water them every two or three weeks in the winter, in the summer, generally every week, depending on how warm it gets. But the Poet's Wife, isn't it absolutely delightful? Has a lovely light fragrance in there. Absolutely a magnet to the bees. These are our little native bees that we get. But all of the bees, it just loves it. Set off by these daisies at the bottom. The Poet's Wife, a beautiful David Austin Rose in a yellow, just waiting to come to your garden. Have a fabulous day.